What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about Fable. I want to talk a little bit about the trailer that we saw at the Xbox show and talk about, you know, fan reception, what I think of it. And, uh, you know, we've done this a couple times in the past with the Quidditch Champions of the World, Dragon Age. You know, I'm picking some games, not all, because we did one on Doom. And I'm picking some games that are very, very split, right? And we're trying to kind of rationalize why. So for Fable, let me let me just be controversial right off the, the jump. I thought it was solid. I thought what they showed was solid. I can understand, what, well, some of it. I can understand some of the negativity of, of this game because as we've been doing with these other games, you look at it and it has been ratioed, whatever you want to call it. There's more dislikes than likes. You look at a lot of the comments. Now, this one is somewhat easy to kind of, you know, look at, analyze, and say, well, why, you know, what, what, who, what, when, where, why, right? All those things. Why are people so upset, you know, about it? And, you know, some of it has been quite controversial, you know, even the last couple of years. I will say, compared to last year, which I actually also didn't really mind the trailer last year, but it, it became something, right? You look to last year and the reception those trailers got to this year, I do think it's improved. Like, I, I think there's way more positivity on it now. I also think it was almost somewhat surprising at least it was to me what they showed it wasn't too much gameplay and that is something we'll talk about in this video but they showed they showed different things than I thought they were going to do 2025 was actually kind of a shock to me because I didn't think this game that's just my own expectation I didn't think the game was going to be 2025 right so those are kind of just uh entry level thoughts you know into my head I didn't mind it I understand some of the criticism I think okay you look at some of the crit well what is it right there's really two to three things, right? You still have the, the main character and her looks, and that, that's something I'm going to kind of just stay out of. I will say, in terms of just, like, the character model in general, she looks better. Like, she looks she looks literally, what I guess I would define, more polished. She literally looks more polished now than she did last year. But, okay, to because that can just get you in, like, a whole circle of just uh, constant controversy, right? To kind of take myself out of that, but to address something that I think is fair, and I, I've seen other people say... When you go into the comments and you see what people are actually saying about this game, the number one thing beyond anything else is what kind of character customization. And I say that very loosely because you think about Fable, think about what this Fable game is going to do. You think about all the controversy that really happened with the actress of this girl, right? And, and in the back and forth there you're not going to be, there's not going to be a character creator where you're dynamically changing the, it's just not going to happen. I think there's going to be the choices of male, female, right? Or two different picks. And that's, that's what this game is. Like it or hate it. I feel like what people are saying is they just kind of want, or maybe, maybe this isn't just what people are saying, but this is kind of how I interpret it. They want to see the other side. Like, let us see, is this the only character that we can pick? Now that can lie in some not great places and can get into agendas and all of this other, you know, stuff on YouTube and Twitter and all that jazz. But what people I think legitimately want is to see both sides. Is it coming from a good place or not? Well, that depends on the person. That depends on what you feel of the person. Um, To be honest with you, now that's, that's the public. That's what I've seen in terms of likes, dislikes, all that jazz. I don't mind like them focusing on her. I mean, we've said it before. Like When it comes to the political stuff or any of that stuff, I, I don't like to be dismissive. Obviously, if you like take it over a line, then I would, I would assume I would call it out and all that stuff. But honestly, I, I want people to be able to say what they want, believe what they want. When we're talking about video games, I care about the video game. And I, I think I come from a very, as you can clearly tell from my channels, I come from a very genuine place with that. So that goes into the next part of this gameplay thing and, and, and what I feel about it. When I look at it, the number one thing I think of is the game itself, the story and the characters and dialogue and, and, and the ability to be able to choose you know, paths and, and combat and all of that. That is what I look at when I think of the game. I think a lot of the other stuff can get, you know, again, you can have whatever opinion you want, but I think a lot of it can get you know, bogged down into this kind of like constant arguing. So from my own perspective, I get wanting to see both. I think there is a genuine want to know Again, character creator, but I use that kind of lightly. Um, you know, is there that, or what kind of thing is there in this game, or is it just her? And I, I would say the idea of like uh, this role playing game and you know, kind of choosing your own adventure type thing. It does diminish at least a little bit, not fully, because you have things like The Witcher where that's absolutely not true. But when you lock somebody into one thing, you are removing a sense of uh, almost putting yourself in there, right? Because if you can't, now I'm not saying it's going to have character creator because I don't, I don't think it is, but making your own character, 
there's a another sense of you're putting yourself into that world. That is you. Whereas if you're playing as Geralt, now that's a, an amazing you know game, but you're you're playing as him, and maybe you can like reflect on some of the things that that he is. But you know, I mean, there's there is a uh, separation, at least a little separation with that. So if that's the mindset, I I actually do understand that, and I I get the whole role playing type element to it. But that's something they need to address. It's not something I thought of too too much when I saw it. Number one thing I thought, well, number one, I thought the game looks really really good. It continues to impress me how these guys who basically are using like a, a racing game engine, right, and they're putting it into this uh, midi evil you know open world thing uh, it's actually kind of astonishing how good it looks so i like how they because they try to do a couple things in this trailer right they try to get a little bit more like a full fable like telling fables like that kind of like they they wanted i think to show off some of like the npcs and some of their facial animations and stuff and they wanted to give you a quick look at what some of the combat was going to be now that would uh, that would be for me like I said, number one, it was kind of surprising that they even showed it because I don't know if I was expecting it. But to be critical on it, it wasn't a lot. And you have time to show much, much more. And I definitely expect you to show much more. I think what I've seen from other people, and I, I actually I think would echo it, is, well, number one, I am like a gameplay guy. When you show me a trailer, if it's all cinematics, you can only get so excited. You, you can get excited, but you can only get so excited. You need to show the actual game itself so we can properly judge. They showed a little bit of it, but what what kind of sneaky thing they did is they broke it up, right? So you see a lot of flashes, but you don't see anything that's super long. You see, you see honestly, what looks like a lot of finishers. Like that that is that is entirely actually what they showed with the different like backstabbing type things, or when she flips the sword and throws it or whatever, and she she hits the guy in the cliff. Like it looks cool and it looks dynamic and it looks uh you know having them be finishers does look pretty fun to do in the game, but they're just that, right? They're in fact, they're the ending of combat more than they are combat itself. So from that perspective, and if that's where some of the negativity is coming from, which I've seen a little bit, but again, I mainly character creator, then kind of the combat, um, that's actually where I would draw the most uh, criticism, you know, on the trailer. There's time. I'm not saying, like, it's it's game over, you know, it's doomsday. You have time to show it, but, you know, I, I think it was impressive, like, what they showed. It looked visually good. I mean, in some ways, it almost reminded me of Hellblade, um, but, you know, you got to be careful saying that, right, because that that is more of a, a cinematic presentation type thing. And for Fable, I think you want to see more of the, the actual gameplay, like what kind of gameplay is there, what's the sword fighting like, etc. And they only focused on the end of it, right? And just very little. And, and I will say, to be very fair, anybody, any studio can make any of that stuff look good. Because if you just, if you take snippets and they're like three seconds long, and that is something I've seen in the comments, like, oh, well, I'll believe it more when you show me more than three seconds. And I... That might be harsh, but I think that is actually true because all of those gameplay segments, which was refreshing to see, but it's like, okay, well, now that you showed it, I actually would have preferred you showed a little bit more. It is true, though, because you can make that look good. You're only taking the ending. You're only taking a cinematic. You're not actually showing the gameplay itself. Um, now, to be fair, depending on which Xbox game you're talking about in the showcase, some games did that a little bit more than others. Um, like Doom, I think, showed a little bit more gameplay. Uh, something like South of Midnight did, right? But some games, uh, like a state decay a perfect dark maybe showed a little bit more depends on the game right some games showed a little bit more than others fable again it's it's kind of a miracle at least uh, for my expectation that we even got anything but i'm still hopeful like fable is a game i'm definitely uh, excited for uh, to an extent it's still it definitely isn't like a prove it thing because it's been so long since we've had you know the trilogy and different developer like so much so much has changed and happened since then um i, I don't think they deserve like all of the trust in the world also they're not really used to to doing that stuff they've kind of uh, organically kind of changed the studio to do it so we'll see how the end product is and they got some time they definitely have some time and i it's split it is still i'd say more negative than positive but i feel like it's gotten better i definitely think what they showed this year was better than what and i think uh, just the narrative right the conversations people are having is different or slightly different this year than last year so that's my thoughts on it so far and like i said we have a lot more to go it's definitely a game i'll be covering you know as we get closer let me know what you think make sure as always you're subscribed to the channel bell icon turned on i hope to see you all on the next one